species on this tree right here. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing! Oh my goodness, that's a big one! Look at this! Oh, get out of that tree, girl! Look at that thing! Through the years, I've lost some tremendous frogfish. And every time you catch one, you learn something about your equipment. Every time you lose one, oh, you learn something about your equipment. So I've been studying that for about 40 years and what's good and what's bad. And I've come up with this guy right here. It is absolutely the perfect frog rod from iRod. You're gonna love it. Bobby's Perfect Frog Rod and Bobby's Perfect Frog Rod Junior. For those of you that like the 7 foot 2, mine's 7 foot 2. It's the same as the 7 9, it's just a little bit shorter. Most of the frog fishing that I do is in hydrilla, milfoil, American pondweed, duckweed, open water around trees, docks, shade lines, willow bushes, button willow bushes, primrose, outside edges of primrose, surface matted vegetation, all that kind of stuff, right? And this rod handles all of them. Oh, come on. That's what I'm talking about. We got the nano carbon reel suit from Fuji. Super light, super strong, and it just balances this rod out so perfectly. Get it, man, Get it, man. Through the decades of my frog and evolution, I've developed three tools that have really helped me to achieve the highest level of frog and success. The Bobby's Perfect Frog, Wobbletron, and now the new Bobby's Perfect Frog Rod from Iron. When it comes to castability, balance, and the perfect rod load, that's what you get with this absolutely gorgeous rod. 40 years of frog and knowledge has been built into this rod right here. It's not a parabolic rod. It's not a fast taper rod. It's kind of sort of in between. The whole deal with this rod right here is you don't want a rod that's too overwhelming. You don't want a rod that's got too much pop, too much juice, and it's not too fast. Too fast is too much juice, too much power. When you set, I don't want to launch three to four pound bass. I want them to stay in the water when I set the hook. Very, very key. You know, with the WXW wrap, it just makes that rod so tight and so crisp. You know, it just, it just, lo it loads instantly. A lot of the frog rods that I've used in the past, you set on the three pounder, you set on the four pounder, you launch them. Now you have to catch back up to them before you lose your load. When you set and you launch that three to four, five pound fish, your rod is now in high. And chances of that fish coming off are very high. With the Bobby's Perfect Frog Rod from iRod, I've got that thing to where when you set oh, get it. fishes under two and a half pounds, sometimes nice. they are going to still leave the water. But if those fish are in that three pound plus class, they're gonna stay right where they are. You're gonna, when you swing, that fish is still in the water, that rod loads and you keep it loaded. Very, very key. I understood that years ago. I didn't want to believe it. I wanted stout, heavy fish, big frog rod. Heavy grass out in the west. Clear Lake, Delta, big bass, heavy grass. Ah, you got broomstick. Oh my gosh. Man, I lost a lot of big ones. I lost a lot of big ones because I pull on them too hard. Oh, there you go. It's just too oh. much juice. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This guy right here. What really finishes this rod out is the premium full cork handle made from the Quercus tree. From open water, matted grass, to lily pads, you'll be able to take your froggy fishing to the next level.